Seven turn right, heading 185, reduce speed 182 or not. 185 on the heading 180 on the speed go fair 007. Speed at 124, reduce speed 160 or not to 40 or me. Guys, Matt here. Welcome back to part number two of the flight from Manchester to Corfu. I uh, don't know what that beep is. It's kind of weird. We missed top of descent because I am a professional pilot, but it's okay. We've got a lot of catching up to do. We're still on that sim, Jacob is still flying with us, and uh, so what I'll do is I'll find out from him exactly what runway he's taking, what approach, and uh, I'll just throw it into descent mode, just so we can uh, start our descent towards Corfu. The weather has been absolutely atrocious all the way over uh, Europe, and uh, so I haven't really been able to get any nice shots, but... There you go. What runway are you taking and arrival? Tigra to Romeo for the RNAV runway 35. Tigra to Romeo RNAV 35. Why are you doing the RNAV? I'm a boring motherfucker. That from FedEx. Yeah. All right. Okay, well then my top of descent isn't actually that far, or isn't that, uh, that soon. I already started this, I panicked and started descending. Yeah, I missed mine by like a few miles, so that's fine. Well. Uh, have you put all the, ra uh, all the information in? Yeah. Do you want to read me it. the stuff out? Yeah, let me know when you're ready. Yeah, uh, go for it. QNH1012. Temperature two zero, winds two three zero at one two, MDA seven seven. All right, so that's all in transition altitude is five k. Yep. All right. Sweet. I don't need mm -hmm. to bother looking at the charts. This is life. What does the approach start at? Twenty nine hundred. Uh, let's or, have a look. 2,900 feet at right. Kilo Romeo 601. Then I'm going down to 2,900 feet. Do you, have you got clouds yet, or are you still clear? Um, there's like some sparse clouds, but nothing major. Dude, it's just so cloudy. I have not been able to escape it this whole way. <laughs> Considering I have ortho all over Europe. I've seen a little bit on departure and then a little bit over Belgium, and that's been it. All of those terabytes wasted. Yep. Yeah. Alright, so we are passing 13,000, or actually, that's a lie, that's flight level 135, because I'm not, but I am a noob, but I try not to be. Jacob, what is the deal with this? Is it literally just Bedek, then left turn, or Bedex and left turn, and then just onto the Arnav? Yeah, basically. It's FedEx, Kilo Romeo 602, then Kilo Romeo 601, and then you turn final. Okay. Seatbelt signs on, turn the volume up a bit. This is like really lazy flying, but sometimes that's what you need. Instead of trying to dig up every bit of paperwork you can find and get it all perfect, sometimes just flying from A to B in a bit a mildly lazy fashion is quite fun. Especially when you've got someone like Jacob to just give you everything. Because he even gave me the flight plan. So, I've literally done nothing. I've not even looked at a chart. I'm just trusting him. It's gone fairly well. I just can't believe there's so Perfect. much bad weather over Corfu. What's the meta? For the for the cloud base? Oh hang on. I closed it. What's that? Yeah. We're going right through the cloud now at eleven K. It's cab okay? How? It's not. Well it might actually it might be at Corfu to be honest, because it I still got about another forty miles before it needs to clear up. 
Whereabouts are you now? I am just passing 5,000 feet, about to turn left over Bedex. Nice. There is very little to see at the moment, it's just all water. Yeah, you won't get much to see until you turn left over Bedex, then you uh, fly in over the land. Yeah, there's a little cube of... Okay, never mind, I'm in the clouds again. <laughs> We are cloud surfing and it looks awesome, so fair enough. Damn, that looked nice. Alright, 10k now. 21 miles to Bedex. Is Luke ahead of you or in front? Oh, behind even? He's just behind me, I think. Okay. So, how far have you got to Bedex? I've just passed it then. Okay. So we, me and you have got good spacing at least. Yeah. yeah I think he's right behind me. He's, he's been uh, annoying my TCAS all flying. <laughs> I don't see either of you on TCAS, which is kind of triggering, whatever. Zero one two. I'll set that now. What is this Kestrel fourteen fifty two guy doing? That's he's... Luke. No, is it? Yeah. No, oh not. yeah, yeah, it is. It is. He's overhead the airfield at eleven thousand feet. Someone screwed up. I'm going to check Project Flight Radar. Uh, I see Luke over the top. At uh, 8,000, then you oh, just yeah. turning, then I don't know who that is. Kestrel Pilot Gatwick to Corfu on Batson as well. I He's just in front of me. Uh, yeah. So He's there's four uh, of us landing at the same time. The VNAV in this plane is amazing. Yeah, they've done a really good job with it. All you need to I do is set minimums and just hit approach. Yeah. Wish the weather was better. All right, 8K. I'm gonna throw the landing lights on, even though it's not a requirement. Still. Ah, I just turned my TCAS to all, and now I see him. 2,500 feet below me. It's about five miles ahead, so we actually have good spacing here. I can't remember with an RNAV whether you just set minima and then press approach, or set the initial altitude and press approach. Because it needs to start descending on the profile, but then once it's done that, you can do whatever you want with the altitude. I'm actually not sure to be honest with you. I'll try both ways. There we go. Set my to 2900 and just locked on to final approach by itself. Yeah, but is, is descent enunciated as well? Or does it just say final app in green? It just says final app. Right. Well, let me know if it descends. This guy is bang on five miles in front of me. I'm going to activate the approach phase now and it'll slow us down a little bit. Yeah, it's descending right through uh, whatever I have set now. It's window, so uh, it's on. Perfect. The dev. Might as well hit approach now. Give it a little bit of help. Anchor on some brakes. Lever of shame's coming out. All right. There we 
going to go flat one. Bring the speed brake back in. One thousand feet. What's the missed approach altitude? Hang on, I'm on out of line, I can't check for that. Oh, right, okay. You know what? I'll do my own dirty work. I just press C in X plane and my plane flew off. Alright, I need the speed brake out, never mind. I don't know why I put it back in. I need to get under 200 knots. Missed approach altitude is 4,000 feet. Okay. Flat two. Oh no! Dude, Luke is joining from the other side at the same time. <laughs> That's pretty good. Eh? Damn, I didn't make it off, Charlie. And I smacked it down on the runway. <laughs> I, I reckon it will be okay. Just as long as he keeps his speed. This is doing my head in. Damn, this scenery. Yeah, it's really very, very <laughs> nice. Like, it just shows Sunday what the approach. Is. This scenery is phenomenal. Yeah, it, it, it all worked out because I slowed right down and Luke went tanking ahead of me. Damn, this scenery is so good. I don't know what that white line is over there, but we'll just ignore it. Right, is it going to descend? Don't stop, don't stop, please carry on. Please carry on. So how Oh yeah, I did it! Yes! Final app. Okay, now I, I bet I bet you have to wait for a couple of hundred feet so it doesn't like nail itself. Or to break low is fine, right? Uh I mean if you're just gonna I'm the last roll one, to, so it doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, it's fine, just roll to them then. If you wanna get off a of Charlie, medium wasn't even enough. Wow. Dude, this oh, scenery. Come on. Christ, it's so oh, good. Oh, you smacked it right down. <laughs> oh, yeah, because you can now watch us in action. All right, let's have a look. Yeah, I can see Luke in front of me. Right, gear down. Here it comes. Dude, that is a picture and a half right there. Even the water looks amazing. Yeah, it's really very, very nice. All right. Push it in. And we're going to go flaps full. 
You can even hear the hydraulics working as the flaps go down. It's beautiful. Perfect. All right, there we go. We're all configured. Land, no blue. I can see Luke in front of me. Actually, no, no, that's not Luke in front of me. Oh, he's just landed, vacated. Oh, no, it is Luke in front of me. There's an A321 in front of me, and there's an A321 just vacated as well. Hang on a minute. I fucked this up. I've gone into the apron the wrong way around. <laughs> well done. Damn it. Oh man, this scenery is apps. I, I can't get over it. I don't think I've, I, I don't think I've ever done Corfu in X plane before. I've had the scenery for years, but I've never bothered to fly here because I've already already been to Corfu in P3D. But I mean, it's the same scenery but ported over. But in X plane, it just looks amazing. Oh no, my weather just refreshed at the last minute. All right, taking the autopilot out. Let's do this. I'm going to take the FDs out as well because I really don't need them anymore. Are you watching me? Uh, no, I'm busy trying to figure out how to park my plane. Well, you're about to see a, a crash if this guy has his way because he's only just over the threshold and I'm at 800 feet. Oh shit, yeah, I see So that. I may have to go around. But it's okay, I'm fully prepared. No pun intended. Mm. Well, I'm definitely not in this state. Let's see if he gets off. Dude, well, it's... He's, he's quite fast. He's not going to make it off. He's blown right past Charlie. Well, let's right see what happens. 500 feet. Oh my god, he's smashing it down. Wait, is he even going to stop? Mate, you're out of runway. <laughs> he needs to get... Oh yeah, I can see him turn to the right. <laughs> get off! Please! Dude, I reckon that's acceptable. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I think we're okay. I mean, he's not quite vacated, but I'll go with that. Think rate. Uh, what? Think rate. It's got a sync rate. 50, 40, 30, 20, retard, 10, 5. Oh, yes! Idle reverse diesel. Look at the wings flapping around. 100 knots. Damn, this thing does not slow down. Nope, it really doesn't. 60 knots. Versus in. Manual brakes. And we are off also at Bravo. That was absolutely beautiful. Except now he's in the way. Damn, that, I wish the model match in the next plane was better. It's so bad. Okay. Flaps coming up. EBR on the wings, 10 out of 10. Transponder off. APU on. Where have you parked? Which one are you? I'm um, the one facing the way you're facing right now, I just parked. Well, if Luke would actually move, then I might be able to park up, but he's taxi and slower than my nan on a scooter! That's not Luke, but Luke's already parked. Alright, then whoever that guy is. What is he doing? I don't think he has scenery, so he's probably quite confused. Well, I mean, he's, nah, he's right in the middle of the line that I'm on, so... Yeah, but he's below the surface, where it's looking at me and Luke. Yeah, but Luke's using next plane. We use that. No, but he is as well, I asked him. You sure? Yep. Okay. He's lying, he's not in an A321 though. Now this guy's turning. 
APU's on, get some air conditioning ready to go, and we shut down the big massive fans on the wing. So is it, I go this way, right? Uh, yeah, go in there, yeah. and then take the first stand, so just turn right immediately after you turn left, take the first stand in I there. can't because there's a tug in the way. Well, and take the middle stand, but you're going to clip into my way. I mean, I'll just deal with the tug. Why is there a tug there? I don't understand. It will go away in a second. I mean, I could just put it in, like, in the tug. Yeah. Dude, this, I can't get over the scenery, even the ground textures. Yeah, and look at all the stairs and uh, everything else off to the, like, to the right of the terminal. I'm taxiing into the tug, there we go. I actually stopped in it. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Chuck's on. <laughs> Get all the stuff out. That took three hours and two minutes, that. Yeah, I had a flight time of two hours and 59 minutes. That was beautiful. And a block time of three hours and 23 minutes. And here we all are, just chilling out on the apron. Somehow, Luke's plane is the only one that is, like, absolutely perfect to the ground. Yours is a little bit sunk, but whatever. Ooh, minus 453. Oh, yeah, Project Fly. Let's see what I got. Uh, I got minus two four six. It was a bit of a a bit of a a solid landing, but it was all right. I absolutely slammed mine into the ground. Dude, that was such a weird routing as well. We just like hopped around Switzerland. Yeah, I don't know. It's BX at its finest. Okay, so that's it. We're on the ground at Corfu. Hope you enjoyed this kind of ad hoc video with friends. Um, it was a bit different. Uh, I guess I will be the one to figure out if that's the kind of stuff that you like or whether you prefer just me to fly alone. But as you can see, there's a bunch of us that have uh, kind of joined in. Uh, but yeah, super fun, nice approach. This scenery is absolutely, ugh, that stupid map, absolutely stunning. I mean, if you come all the way back out, like, look at that. That is insanely good scenery. Like, imagine if the entire world looked like that. Just even, even the surrounding island is so beautiful. You see all the individual elements, the port. I mean, look at that. What the hell? It's so well done. But yeah, there we go. Okay, thank you very much for watching. As always, appreciate it. I'm going to mention it again because I need to, and I feel bad if I don't. Cosford, RAF Cosford Flight Simulator Show 2018, 5th of October. You are all more than welcome to attend, say hi, come check out all the exhibitors, etc., etc. Uh, but until the next video, which hopefully will be in uh, definitely before next week. But uh, again, things could get busy, so just bear with me. But, but even until then, take care, and I shall speak with you soon. Tara for now.